for stopping by. Welcome to Apple's Art Studio. I'm Apple's and I've been a multimedia artist for years, but now I really love polymer clay. Today's tutorial is about polymer clay and it's exclusively made for Tiny Pandora Design Team, which I'm a member of and it's developed by Teresa Salgado. So come on, let's go have fun where the magic happens. Okay, the bracelet has been baked. This is the one with the silk screen, done in black. Okay, this is what I've got done so far. I've used a teal glitter for the teal. I've used a light purple. I've used a lime green. I've used the light blue. I've not, yeah, I have. Uh, this one's the dark green. And these are Pandora's glitters mixed up uh, with the uh, Deep Shine UV finish. Okay, now that I've done some stuff, I have some tips and some tricks. I'm going to do this um, rosy pink collar and I've learned not to take out too much glitter in the little spoon. Okay, I'm going to pour a little bit of deep shine in there. See the glittery, while well, you got your glitter and then you got your shiny stuff. And I'm going to mix it up. And if you get too much deep shine and it's runny, then you add more glitter. If it's too thick, you add more deep shine. I hold it up on my toothpick like this and it makes a little blob at the bottom which is most helpful when you're putting it on your items because you just put a blob on and sort of spread it out but I think this is a little bit too thin I think this is a little bit too thin, so I'm going to, especially on the bracelets, on the cuff, on a round surface. Uh, I learned very quickly you put some on and set your bracelet sideways to go in your UV light and it runs. The good thing is you can wipe it up with a baby wipe. And I also keep a Q-tip here on hand because this is uncured resin so you can wipe it right off and clean it right up. And I'm just going to put a little on my toothpick and dab it around and let's see about putting another one right here. This rosy red's beautiful. All these are beautiful. You know, I really didn't think I would enjoy this as much as I have. But let me tell you what, this is really fun. And put in the different colors of glitter in the designs. These glitters are unbelievable. The light yellow one here has a little bit of green in, it, in the holographics. Put the white on here. And where the black dots are left and some of these lines and stripes, I'm going to use the black glitter. And uh, like I said, this, this glitter is fantastic. I had 
mixed glitters left over. And these are glitters that already have the deep shine mixed in with them. But it, the deep shine will not cure until you put it in a UV lamp. So I just took my other little tray, the one that I had the alcohol inks in that are dried up, and put it on top and that will block any UV light that could possibly come in from my light that's off camera. Okay, so let me get this bracelet. Here we go. It's out of the UV light. You can see all the different colors of glitter on there. And, uh, I mean, this is really pretty. Thank <laughs> you.